This time, the rockets fired by Russia landed on the territory of Moldova. The Ministry of Internal Affairs of Moldova has reported the discovery of missile debris in a lake near the city of Anenai Noi in the southeast of Moldova. The wreckage was discovered on the 27th of September. The Ministry of Internal Affairs took special measures to protect Lake Habovat after missile debris was discovered in it. Currently, people are not allowed to enter this area and the police are guarding the perimeter. Employees of the National Police Emergency Services, Carabinieri and Border Guards are working on the spot. Bomb disposal experts from IGP are also present at the site. They analyze the optimal solution for extracting explosives based on the hypotheses that the component with explosive material will be found at the bottom of the lake. Interior Minister Adrian Efros is also present at the spot. The Ministry of Internal Affairs clarified that there is no danger for the population, the territory is isolated and the first houses are located at a distance of one kilometer from the dangerous zone. Residents told authorities they spotted some wreckage in a nearby lake that could have come from a missile that may have landed in the area. The authorities have confirmed that this is missile debris and experts will determine its type and origin. It is believed to be the remnants of Russian missiles. This is not the first time that missile wreckage resulting from Russian strikes on Ukraine has fallen in Moldova. On the 25th of September, Oleg Belyakov, co-chairman of the Joint Control Commission from the unrecognized state of Transnistria, reported the fall of a missile wreckage on the territory of the separatist region of Moldova in the village of Tishkani after a missile attack on the Odessa Oblast. Parts of Russian drones were also found in Romania. For example, on the 13th of September, new wreckage similar to fragments of a drone was found in Romania's Tulsia border district with Ukraine, this time 14 kilometers from the border.